Hi, I'm Vic, and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things completely differently. There you are, working on one of your projects, and you need a headlamp. Now, my workshop has a headlamp over there that I can get, but let's just say I'm out in the field, as it were. Well, I always carry one of these um, buff things, you know, just a, a tube of stretchy fabric. Yep. I also always carry a little tiny pen light. The, uh, let's blind the camera version. There we go. Um, it's not a flash one, it cost a few bucks. So, uh, here's how we do a headlight. <sighs> Band, torch, torch behind here. Headlight. Looks stupid, but it works. A bit like me, really. I don't know if you remember these things uh, from your youth, perhaps. Uh, blow guns. Yeah, they fire a, a rather uh, pointed little dart um, purely with your own breath. And it's always uh, been a puzzle to me exactly how fast are these things going. Well, if you watched the last episode, you know I've got a chronograph, so let's put it to the test. This could make from an interesting uh, insurance claim. I suppose we'd better turn it on first. Yeah, yeah. It says ready. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, that's from shooting arrows. <coughs> and I managed a hundred feet per second. Let's try that again. <coughs> that was 118. Ah, getting better. So I managed over 100 feet per second, but of course the darts aren't very heavy. Uh, where are we? That's 15 and a bit grains, which is about a gram. And that means that uh, we're producing an energy of around half a foot pound. Well, that shows you that I'm only a little buff. So leftover garlic, you know, the stuff, you know, eating it fast enough and uh, sprouts. Well, what we do with this is uh, we simply uh, plant it. Yeah. She goes, and then uh, like those ones down there, we eat it later. And while I have this uh, hands-free camera, I uh, might as well go through the, uh, the greenhouse and my word, we'll have some of that silver beet. That's massive, yep. <clears throat> Now we've been eating a lot of kale, we've, uh, we've eaten kale, as you know, and Caleb, and um, Eddie got through uh, Izzy Kale, and uh, I think that one there we're going to call My Kale, and uh, he's going to be chopped out next, but there's plenty to harvest. But... And we've got some sprouting broccoli, which has maybe sprouted a bit too much, and it'll come back. Look at all that. Yeah, we're going to have all these. Yeah. Very nearly courgette time though. Looking forward to that. You can eat courgette flowers as well. Uh, dip them in batter. Fry them. Me though, I'll eat the darn courgette. And tips from the kitchen. Sometimes you have leftover eggs, from parts of eggs from making meringues or, or mayonnaise or something. Well, what you do is you take a little plastic container and you put the thing back in the drawer because I'm fed up with finding little bits of egg hidden in the fridge for me to throw it away two weeks later. Thank you, public service announcement on behalf of the annoyed Vic party. Egg disposal, not really a problem. Let's move to a bit of late night work in the garage. I have a, a wedding ring. Um, one that I wore in Egypt to make things absolutely clear to the locals. And um, it is made of titanium and steel and uh, has one of those rainbow effects. But being me, of course, I've managed to wear off most of the rainbow effect. So I'm going to reinstate it. Having cleaned the ring with a bit of isopropyl alcohol to make sure there's no grease on it, we're going to put it on this old spoon handle and warm it up with a torch. So the ring's here, 
uh, this is basically to stop the uh, jet of gas from the torch from uh, doing interesting chaotic effects to the oxidation layer. Um, we have put the alcohol safely over that way and there is a bucket of water down here for me to drop everything into and now this is going to make a lot of whooshing noise. <laughs> As we warm up the handle, and hence the ring, uh, the ring will start to form titanium oxides and uh, they will hopefully change colour and when it changes to the right kind of rainbowness I'm going to dump it in the bucket of water and uh, cool it off and I'll have a nice pretty ring again. Mustn't forget the cooling off stage otherwise this will get very painful. Now you can't see that very well. Let's move into daylight. There we are. Lovely rainbow sheen. Okay, back to night. Well, it's getting late. So for now, that's your lot down on Geeko Farm. Say goodnight, Lewis.